Well, Jen, it is rare to get a candidate to admit they are favoring one early state over another, even when it is obvious that is what they're doing. But today, Rick Santorum was honest about it, saying he wants to go back to back in the Iowa caucus. Back in New Hampshire for the first time as an official presidential candidate, Rick Santorum tore into the nuclear deal the White House recently reached with Iran. This is the worst, most dangerous agreement any president has ever entered into. The former Pennsylvania senator says everyone should take notice that Iran's fiery rhetoric hasn't changed. Because what they say is death to America, death to Israel, we're going to destroy you, we're going to, we're going to take you out. And of course, this president now calls these people who are still saying this partners in peace. Well, he promises to make the deal a centerpiece of his campaign. He admits he'll probably be spending more time doing that in Iowa than New Hampshire. We're, we're certainly going to put um, you know, more effort there than anywhere else because if you go to the first four states, we only won one of them. And so when you're the defending champ, you gotta, you got to defend the title. Still, he believes his new message, which emphasizes jobs and working people over social issues, can resonate here. Talking about blue collar America, talking about bringing manufacturing back to this country. With a small army of Republican candidates vying for the White House, Santorum will be fighting for elbow room. But neither he nor core supporters like State Representative Glenn Cordelli are worried about the state of the 2016 campaign in July. I think that people, as they people get reacquainted with him and hear his ideas, uh, that his standing in the polls will shoot upwards. What I've learned is, slow and steady wins the race. While Santorum isn't backing down from any of his socially conservative positions, he is adding some nuance, pointing out to one woman who challenged him on contraception that while he opposes it as a Catholic, as a senator, he voted for increasing Title X contraception funding. Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.